Is, is it working? Yeah. All right. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Maker Party's Launch Cantina. My name is Lucy. If you don't know me, I work on Maker Party, so this is particularly exciting for me. Um, so for those of you... For those of you who don't know what um, Maker Party is, maybe this is the first time you're hearing about it, Maker Party is Mozilla's campaign to teach the web. And every summer between July 15th and September 15th, we reach out to the community and try and encourage people to run their own events and attend events about making and learning on the web. So the idea is that if it's just you and a couple of your friends in your kitchen, you're teaching them some code, that's a maker party. If you work with some organizations and you get a whole bunch of kids together in a school gym, that's a maker party. So we try and encourage everyone to participate in these events run them all year long. And to get the whole of the Mozilla community excited and involved with Maker Party, we decided to throw our very own one to celebrate the launch. And so this Maker Party is going to feature an app maker tutorial session run by Bobby here. And he's going to teach us all how to make really cool songs using this app maker app. And we are going to try and make the coolest songs we can. And then we're going to compete with the other offices around the world and see who's got the best song. So it's going to be fun. Um, and then there's food, and then we can just mingle and hang out. And this is probably most of your very first maker parties. So get an idea of what it's like, and maybe you'll be inspired to throw your own. Go ahead, Bobby. Rad. All right. I'm just going to reattach this to myself. I've been told that when I start to wear this microphone, I look a little bit more like Britney Spears. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A hundred percent? That's amazing. <laughs> All right, uh, hello everyone. Um, so yeah, like Lucy said, we're gonna do some app making today. Um, uh, app Maker is a, is a project that I've been working on uh, with a whole bunch of awesome other people. And uh, the idea is to let you make your own mobile apps. Um, we have a, a platform and a little bit of a product inside the browser that will let you um, put together things called bricks so that you can make your own stuff. So uh, this is the app that we're gonna try to tinker with today. This is a, a music app. Um, and this music app um, is comprised of a whole bunch of different instruments. Uh, we have something like a cowbell. I'll turn that up a little bit. This is a cowbell. This is a kick drum. This is a snare. These are some dancing jazz hands. It's kind of awesome. And then these other two here. Um, all of these things are called app maker bricks. And uh, the idea behind these bricks is that each of them has their own functionality and you can take each brick and make it talk to something else by connecting them with these colored lines on the side. These are called channels. And so when a cowbell brick up here receives a channel, uh, receives a message on whatever channel it's connected to, it'll do its thing, it'll ding. And so um, I'm just gonna try to demonstrate that. If I add a button brick, the, th the thing the button does is get pressed. That's sort of its activity. And you can see that it's sending out messages on a red channel on the right side there. So all I've got to do is connect that thing to this, uh, to this cowbell. So I'm just going to select H. And now whenever I press that button, the cowbell should respond. So bam, I, like, I edited my first app. So that's, that's really cool. But this isn't really what I care about. I'm going to delete this button. And I'm going to uh, show you the other two more interesting components that are inside this thing. So these are all our instruments. And we'd like them to be driven to create our song. And any, uh, any song actually needs some music or some sheet music so that it can tell, um, in this case, tell itself how to play. And so that's what this grid thing is with a bunch of colored blocks in it. Um, this is called the sequencer. And the sequencer uh, just tells all of the things that it's connected to when to activate. And so there are two lit up green things right now, um, which means that there's going to be, in every four beats, there's going to be two dings of a cowbell. And so if I turn on this metronome, it will actually drive the sequencer to start moving. So I'm going to turn that on. You can see what I'm talking about. So th the metronome sends out purple messages. The sequencer receives purple messages and just starts like chugging along and doing stuff. And anytime it sees a lit up green block, it dings a cowbell. So it's not super interesting yet, um, but uh, we can make it more interesting by adding, adding some cool stuff. And I'm just going to try to, there we go. So uh, let's see, if I start to add some more colors, maybe I'm going to add a snare drum and some uh, bass drum in there and a little bit of dancing. And that's how I can edit my, my app that way. And so um, I can save this. I can publish it so that anybody else can use it. I'm just going to stop that. 
I'm gonna say, I'm gonna save this as probably the best music app ever. Um, and then I'm gonna publish that. And so the idea is that I can, I can take this URL and I can give that to somebody else. They can use that, they can install it on their phone. So I'm gonna take that, that uh, address here. And so this is what the app actually looks like. So if I take this and I put it on my phone, I'm gonna see this app. If I, uh, I, this is in my browser, so I can use that app as well. And it reacts exactly the same. You can see that it sort of saved my pattern. And so when I start this metronome, it does the exact same thing that it did when I was editing it. But the cool part is that uh, there's this big orange remix screen here, and it's got a remix now button. So if I send this to somebody else, they can edit this app for themselves and then make their own version of it. So I'm gonna click the Remix Now button, it's gonna send me back into App Maker, and I get the same view of, the, of that app, but I don't have to be the same person. So I can, I can edit anybody else's stuff. Um, so that's, that's cool. And some of the interesting things that people uh, today in some of the maker parties that are, have been like slowly starting, um, someone created a, let's see if I can find it. Uh, this is a screaming app, and it's really simple. It's called the Wilhelm Scream app. And when I click this button, it, you get a little bit of scream. Uh, and I thought that wasn't quite accurate because that's not really the Wilhelm scream. And so I made my own version of this app, which is actually featuring, I think that is Wilhelm falling off his horse, which is a lot more accurate. And so I just remixed that app to make my own. And then someone further remixed that app to make a screaming goat app. And so when I press this button, of course, you get the uh, famous screaming goat. Uh, so that was cool. I, uh, that just happened today, which I thought was pretty interesting. So, um, but we can actually do some more stuff. Uh, you don't have to sort of stop at just manipulating the little grid pattern and, and creating something else there. Um, you can create your own stuff like, uh, let's say I want to um, add my own audio clip. So that you can see that there's a whole bunch of things I can choose from on the left side there. Um, some of them are, uh, all of these are different categories of app maker bricks you're allowed to add into your app. So I already tried a button one, but there's a whole bunch. I can add like a counter or an image. I can, that's how I got Wilhelm to show up. So I mean, I could, this is place kitten, so I think I can do this maybe, or it doesn't work, that's fine. So if I uh, add an audio clip, then I get this, uh, by default I get some dogs. And so I can replace <coughs> that uh, with anything I want as well. So I can put my own uh, MP3 URL into that, that editor pane over on the right side. And I can, um, yeah, I can use any sound I care about. So we're just going to leave it like dogs for a minute because, uh, because that's sort of fitting. Um, and, but what if I want that to be driven by something else in my app? So right now, if I turn on this metronome, the dogs don't actually play. So I have to sort of manually make dogs happen. But I could <coughs> use this empty uh, beat in, on my sequencer. And so when I click this, you can see that it's giving me some choices of things I might want to plug into. One of them is the C option, which is uh, AppMaker has tried to tell me which one I should, I should try to use, because C is the one that isn't being used yet, but uh, has something that's actually listening for it. So if I click on the C button, um, now I get an extra row in my sequencer, and I can start to control some dogs barking. So now when I start my metronome, since I clicked on a new block there, um, I get some dogs. <coughs> and that's, that's a pretty great app. Um, but it's, it's, it's okay, but it, I mean, we can do better probably. Um, and I, I just happen to have created uh, something called the Super Music app, uh, which is a little bit better than, than we've been doing so far. So uh, you can see that it's it just got the things we might expect. It's got a cowbell, it's got my bass drum, still got my hands, but it's got like a weird click, which you, it's hard to hear, and it's got a crack, uh, and it's got some applause. So what, what I've done is hook this, all this stuff up um, with this extra second screen that has all my logic on it. And the, the idea there is when I publish this app, I can, I can hide all the logic away so a user doesn't have to be confused by all of those extra things they're seeing. And so when I push the start stop button here, you can see what the song sounds like. We'll see if I can just listen. Pretty awesome song, and I got applause when I was done. And so you can see, like, if I check this out, I'm gonna maybe make this a little bit slower. I think it was way too fast. I've even added a debug button on the second screen so that I can just just toy with the logic of my app and see what's going on while I'm while I'm um, like programming it. So I'm gonna try this again. And again, some applause. 
And that's a lot more of a complicated app. I can publish this again, I can send it around, and people can continue to remix it, and that's kind of awesome. Um, and so that's, that's sort of the, the way that AppMaker works in general, um, and these, these are the kinds of apps we're hoping that people will be able to create today. Um, and so I'd say if you have any questions about what I just showed you, then please ask them. But uh, that was the, uh, the epitome of, of music apps, so I'm not sure you can make anything better than that. Um, but please try and have fun today because it's a maker party and it's going to be awesome. And you have a question. Mm -hmm. Can we take those from, say, YouTube videos to, say, Beyonce? Does that work? Or where do we have to go to get used unique sounds? So you can, um, you can use WAV files that you find on the internet. Um, there's a place called Soundjacks that actually has a whole bunch of them. So if I go to Soundjacks, I can find things like wasps or blowing or cool. I'm not even Let's try out what cool is. Um, this is cool, apparently, like wow cool. So wow, I can take that, cool, I can man. Take that and I can put it inside of AppMaker. So instead of weird clicks, um, I can replace this. Let's see what I get. So it's going to get wow, super irritated. Wow, cool, man. Wow, right? wow, cool, uh, But I can man. also, if I really want to add some Beyonce and I find a short enough clip or something, or I want to play it at the end of a song, then I could go and find something on YouTube. Um, and there is, if I go to, let's say, I think it's under other right now, there's a media player. And the media player just plays anything like Beethoven. And that's just a, a YouTube video. So you can use that like you would with popcorn um, already. Uh, and it, just, it is bundled with popcorn, so it will play everything that popcorn does. So you can take any YouTube video or SoundCloud sound or Vimeo or whatever, and you can stuff it in there, and then you can tell it to be controlled by stuff. So. Let's say that I want my, um, I want it to be told what to do. So let's just make this do this. B and C. So hopefully. Wow, wow. And cool, there you go. Man. So you can control a song the same way you would do that, but using a media brick instead. Awesome. Does anybody else have any, any questions? No? Okay. Well, have fun app making. Um, I'm going to hang out and help you if you would like to uh, try anything out. Um, but yeah, go crazy. Um, you can start app making by going to webmaker.org slash app maker. Uh, this is our landing page. It's got some ideas and it's got some uh, template apps you can start from. The Fireworks app is pretty compelling. Um, it lets you launch fireworks. <laughs>